welcome to the channel. Today I'll be preparing a delicious and savory meal. On the menu we have pork steaks with sweet peppers and onion, some black eyed peas with smoked turkey necks and turkey tails, green beans and some cornbread. Here are the things that I'm using guys. Right here I have one medium sized avocado, a green and yellow bell pepper, one sweet onion, a jalapeno, one large white onion, some cilantro, definitely cilantro makes any dish um, very, very good. It gives it a nice pop, and plus I'm a big fan of cilantro. We have some green onion that I've already rinsed off and cut up. Some smoked turkey necks, I've rinsed those off as well. Some smoked turkey tails. We have two packs of pork steaks. We have one that's here. Also we have, of course, our black eyed peas some cumin, also some thyme. We have some frozen cut green beans. You guys can use fresh green beans, canned green beans. It's totally up to you. But today, I'm gonna to use the frozen steamed cut green beans. We also have some milk, three medium-sized eggs, two boxes of Jiffy cornbread mix. Yes, y'all, I love me some Jiffy cornbread. Yes, give it a nice uh, pop, especially with some beans and some greens. Yes, I'm all for it. We also have some onion powder, black pepper, bay leaves, some sea salt, paprika, some adobo all-purpose seasoning, parsley flakes, and garlic powder. So, let's go ahead and get to cooking, y'all. Also, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button because, y'all, I got a lot more up my sleeve and a lot of great dishes and delicious meals you don't want to miss. So definitely hit that subscribe button, make sure your bell is on. And for my returning subscribers, I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for the support and let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so first I'm gonna go in with the Goya um, adobo all-purpose seasoning and lemon and pepper. And I'm just gonna sprinkle that over our pork steaks. Like so. And this seasoning is really good, guys. Um, they definitely have the seasoning and pepper without pepper and lemon. My favorite is the lemon and pepper. Next, I'm going to go in with some sea salt. And sea salt is a great um, option because it's more healthier. And I love it. All right. Next, I'm going to go in, guys with some parsley flakes time for another one y'all i know <laughs> time for another one all right and you guys can definitely season up your meat um to taste but this is how i like to season it and plus these ingredients if you are using the same ones you would definitely um come out with some great tasting uh pork steak next i'm gonna go in with some garlic powder garlic powder you can use fresh garlic for this recipe um i did not have fresh garlic so i am using some garlic powder all right and guys i'm not flipping these over because once i put them in the oven all of the flavors and spices and ingredients that we're using they're gonna soak up and um get thoroughly cooked in with our meat so i don't have to flip them over next i'm gonna go in with some black pepper like so next some onion powder and guys as you can see this dish does not have a lot of salt so um, make sure you're using garlic powder and onion powder and not the salt because then it will be too salty all right next I'm going to go in with some paprika Paprika is not spicy at all, guys. It just gives your dish um, a nice color. Um, and it kind of has like a flavor of like maybe like a bell pepper. So don't worry about paprika being spicy. And I'm a big fan of onion, y'all. So I'm going to put an extra um, onion in this dish. <laughs> my 
peppers cut up i have the yellow the green and the cilantro and also i'm going to add in our thyme so next i'm just going to add some yellow bell peppers here and we're also going to preheat our oven to 375 because we are going to bake these you guys can do them on stove top if you like but i'm going to bake them today Next, we're going to add our green bell peppers. And I left them kind of big. Um, but if you like to cut them smaller, you can. Okay. Next, I'm going to go in and sprinkle a little thyme. Just a pinch. And next, our cilantro. All right. It looks so beautiful. Vibrant, tasty. I know it's gonna be tasty, y'all. And just delicious, okay? Let's add a little bit more cilantro. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and pop this in the oven and let's go ahead and check on our meat and see how it's doing. And be back, guys. guys working on this cornbread um i've already added our two boxes of jiffy cornbread mix and next i'm going to go ahead with three medium-sized eggs one fourth cup of oil if you don't want to add oil to your cornbread you can definitely grease your muffin pan or your pan before use and next i'm going to go ahead and add some milk i'm just going to eyeball the milk until um until I feel like I need a little bit more. But next, I'm going to go ahead and give this a stir. If you want, you can add a little sugar to it. But I'm not going to add sugar. Um, I know a few people that does that do add sugar to Jiffy Cornbread. But here's the tip. Jiffy is already sweet, guys. So you don't have to add sugar at all. So let's go ahead and give this a nice mix. And I'll be right back. I got this kitchen on fire. Yes, with God, all things are possible. This kitchen is on fire, y'all. And if y'all have smell of vision, if there was a smell of vision, I wish you guys could smell the smell in this kitchen right now. Right here is the smoked turkey necks and turkey tails with the two bulbs of onion and two bay leaves. They are doing fantastic. And also, I opened up the bag of the cut green beans i'm not going to start the green beans just yet i'm gonna wait to our meal is halfway done to actually start those but next we're going to go ahead and move on with our cornbread and start that guys so be right back all right guys look at that we preheated our oven at 375 and all i did was went back in and added some sweet onion um guys that's totally optional but like like i said earlier i love onion and in this dish we have green um onions and also i added some sweet onions along with the bell peppers as seasonings so let's go ahead and pop this in the oven 375 degrees and we're going to cook this for about one hour come back flip them and move head on into our black eyed peas okay guys so um once our meat have been cooking for about an hour and 45 minutes to two hours and as you guys can see it's so tender where the meat is actually breaking up in our beans um before i added uh the beans i actually went ahead on and rinsed them and also picked through them for any rocks or anything but the whole bag was fine so i added those in my pot um at this point you can go ahead and taste for salt Mm. it's really good guys mm, mm, mm. so i don't need any salt um it has a wonderful flavor the salt that comes from the smoked uh meat and also the turkey tails is phenomenal so i do not need to add any salt but i am going to add in some sweet uh white onion and this is half of a white onion so we're just going to put that in there like so half of a white onion and also I'm going to add a few sprinkles of jalapeno pepper the jalapeno pepper is definitely optional because it is spicy and if you're not a big fan of spice you do not have to um, add the jalapeno all right give this a nice mix 
Oh, look at that, y'all. Falling off the arm. Um. Woo, yes, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. All right. So these bigger pieces, I'm actually going to put these down at the bottom so they can cook a little bit more. All right. And I also cut down my heat to medium. We're gonna let those cook a little bit more, guys. Oh, wee, wee, wee. I am speechless. You back, guys. And you definitely wanna make sure you're stirring well, guys, because you do not want any lumps whatsoever in your pan. Making sure the egg and the oil is mixed perfectly. Like this, guys. And if you're cooking for a larger family, um, three boxes is just enough. All I used was two. So I'm definitely going to have uh, cornbread left over. So this was more than enough for us. Okay. As you can see, there's kind of like some dry patches at the bottom. You definitely want to get that because you don't want to leave that at the bottom of the pan. So make sure all corners, all sides are mixed well, okay? Like so. So once uh, you know that your cornbread is mixed thoroughly, it should look like a thick cake mix, okay? As you guys can see, I still have powder over here. You definitely want to get all of that all right so like i said i eyeballed the milk and it was just about enough right on the money so i do not need to add anything else with this cornbread okay all right we're gonna pop this in the oven and we're gonna cook this for about 35 minutes until it's golden brown Guys, our pork steaks have been cooking for about an hour and 25 minutes. I flipped them over and y'all look at this. So juicy. The peppers, everything smells so good, y'all. And also our cornbread is done as well. I'm gonna take that out and let it cool. And add a little butter on top. 